Walmart just stabbed Trump in the back with disgusting announcements CEO made effective immediately. Of all the retailers in the country, Walmart is typically branded one of the most American ones. They profit heavily from their reputation of patriotic values and being the picture of success from capitalism, hard work, and the fruits of pursuing the American dream, despite using cheap overseas labor to produce a glutinous amount of products. Their cheap products and underpaid retail labor aren't what makes America great, but they apparently don't think the Donald Trump does either, as the President of the United States. Walmart has likely seen a massive increase in sales within the first seven months of Trump's presidency, with all that he's done for the economy. However, that hasn't stopped their CEO from licking the gift horse in the mouth. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan came forward this week to stab President Trump in the back with an announcement that's effective immediately. What should also follow, is a boycott of this company who can't see the error in criticizing the president who has done more for this country, the economy, and subsequently his business than those who he's choosing to take sides within his statement. Conservative Daily News reports. The reaction from the political class media and now even the corporate behemoths that have exploited cheap overseas labor to destroy the American dream to blame President Trump for the actions of one criminal individual who rammed his car into several leftists in Charlottesville has reached a dangerous stage. While you expect the media to accuse President Trump of being a racist, the second coming of Hitler and a sole brother of leftist sock puppet David Duke and the Democrats would condemn Trump if he announced a cure for cancer. Now even cowardly corporations are joining in the pummeling. The CEO of one of America's biggest corporations had the choice of whether to take sides or not and if so, which one to take. He picked the wrong one and the fallout will soon hit hard. Trump has been encouraging manufacturing in the United States as a way of boosting the economy and creating jobs, clearly something that Walmart isn't interested when it comes to cheap products. Perhaps. This is why the CEO came out in condemnation of Trump's response to Charlottesville, making the false accusations that he's racist. According to the Washington Examiner, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan criticized President Trump's response to the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, over the weekend, but said he planned to remain engaged with the White House. In a statement posted on the retail giant's website, Macmillan wrote that Trump missed a critical opportunity to help bring our country together by unequivocally rejecting the appalling actions of white supremacists. Trump did not specifically call out white supremacy and racism in his first comments on the violence in Charlottesville on Saturday, although he did in a public appearance Monday. Macmillan said Monday's comments were a step in the right direction and we need that clarity and consistency in the future. In recent days, Several members of Trump's manufacturing council, including the heads of Merck, Intel, and Under Armour, have resigned in protest. Macmillan is not a member of the council, but he has visited the White House to advise Trump as part of a group of CEOs. In his statement Monday, he suggested that he wouldn't decline to perform a similar role in the future. We believe we should stay engaged to try to influence decisions in a positive way and help bring people together, he wrote. How many times does Trump have to say in the most basic and comprehensive terms that he does not agree with what happened in Charlottesville at all? He has repeated himself on this matter several times, but Walmart and liberals will not be happy until he promotes one side of the violence there and condemns the other, meaning, promoting the left's right to fight and right having to take it because they deserve it. Thank you, Mr. President, for pointing out that the problem is never one-sided. Both were wrong and violent and it shouldn't take saying that one is wrong to make the other right when nobody was right in this case. It's disgusting that corporate giants like Walmart as well as athletes are mixing business with politics to further the divide. They can't take the heat of being called out for the violence, even when the other side is called out for being equally responsible, and are criticizing our capable leader of not taking a stand when he didn't side with them. With them.